morning and happy Sunday. Today, I'm going to take photos of my neighbor's daughter. She just graduated high school. And I wanted to gift her that because of what's going on. Most graduates are not really having a typical graduation. So I just wanted to take photos of her in her gown and everything. Hopefully it works today because we had planned on doing this weeks back. And um, unfortunately, I felt sick and everything. So I'm better now. And I'm just going to take a few clips. I'm doing this because I just want to vlog this process. Hopefully I can do it because I'm the only one who's going to go. So I'll probably just put my tripod somewhere and take a few clips of me taking photos of her and hopefully show you the end product. So today, let me show you what I have. This is the bag I'm using. Um, it's a Steve Madden bag. It's pretty big and it has a lot of compartments. And then in here I have this camera bag. I have the extra battery here. I have enough memory, so I'm not gonna take memory cards. Just it's just a quick um, portrait session. And then I have this my lens baby lens. I'm sure you saw this at my um, my cameras and lenses inside this bag. Sorry, I'm using one hand. <laughs> I'm using one hand. Inside this bag, I have my 50mm lens. So I just took two lenses. I may just I may just use this one. 50mm lens also on that video. And my Canon 5D Mark IV camera. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that's all I'm taking with me. I like take I like sim I like simplicity. Just and then I'll take my phone with me. So let me get some breakfast and take my medication. I always have to. And then yeah, I'm excited. I mean I've never really done. I mean I've done a lot of portraits, but I've not done like the the idea of showing how I do it. So hopefully this video <laughs> this will work out. It's my first time. <laughs> She went to get her ma um, her mask and her face cap. Just a few props, nothing big. Uh, I've been taking a few photos, just trying to figure out the lighting and all that, and then hopefully we'll be done soon. <laughs> yeah, social distancing. <laughs> Okay, oh, I'm sweating. So I'm done. Now the, the next thing I'm gonna do, I just got home. Ooh, I thought it was gonna be cold, so I didn't even get to wear my sweatshirt. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is transfer the photos from here onto my computer. So let's see. Yep, yep, yep. I'm sure there's so many because I haven't downloaded a number of other images. But let me just put everything now. And um, at least I'll know that I've 
save the images before I start um what's it called editing and then hopefully I get a few nice photos that she could also always use for portraits for prints well I actually took so many <laughs> oh that's that's one thing about photographers like we just take so many shots and I guess we don't want to miss anything or not miss anything it's better to have more and hopefully more of the ones that you don't need too much editing on because that's what I try to do I try to take photos where I look at the background so that I don't have to edit much you can still do editing but not like the full-blown editing and also I try to figure out okay what's in the background like there were a bunch of cars driving by I had to wait for cars to stop you know take a photo and then like stuff like that so that I don't need to like remove a car in the background or a tree or some electrical outlet or something so yeah so I'm gonna this is bridge and I'm gonna do check each photo so where am I starting from let's see so I'm gonna start from here look at the photos and then transfer not transfer but like know which ones to add to Lightroom and then start editing I have Adobe Lightroom on my cell phone as well so sometimes I can put the photos on my computer and it syncs to my cell phone and then I can even edit from here which is so cool because it's just easier for me to just like um, work on here and once it's edited it syncs here so it's, it's pretty cool I love Adobe so here I'm just basically trying to edit the photos um, normally I kind of like change the contrast I crop the saturation exposure just different things and then at some point I use presets I don't use them all the time but I use some presets and once I find a good um, look I copy those settings into the other photos and then adjust as I go so that makes it faster in my editing process um, yeah that's basically what I do yeah so I'm just checking all the presets now and then I'm do, I normally check like the original versions to the edited versions and then if I'm fine with that then I just move on to the next picture so that works so after that um, I put all the photos into an album normally I do that with my clients so for her I just put everything in an album created a password and at least she'll be able to share and download all the pictures wow it looks so nice I'm so happy that I did this for her <laughs> Then here I send it in an email to her and yeah, basically that's what I do for all the clients. I just send it to them through an email, I put in their password and then they can download and share. And then if they want to purchase prints, you let me know afterwards. But I'm so happy that I did this. Thank you so much for listening to me and watching this process. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel when you get a chance, like and comment. Let me know what you think about this process. And yeah, I'm glad I did this. I'll see you in my next video. Remember to let your cup run it over. Bye.